Over the years, Pokemon has had a plethora of features that fans have loved, and they've been cut. So today, after stumbling upon this image of replaced or retired features, this Twitch chat will decide once and for all if you could only bring one back. If you had the power to resurrect one of these features, which one would it be? Today, we are going to be going down a feature tournament, pitting features against each other to see what the community likes more. Will it be the contest? Will it be Mega Evolution? Will it be Horde Battles? Will it be multiple regions? Will it be Pokemon following you the full national decks, difficulty modes, or triple battles? Today, the community decides. Chat, if you get this poll to exactly 50-50, as it hits 15 seconds, I will gift you five subs before you get into the tournament. I'm going to stop at exactly 15 seconds, and it needs to be exactly 50-50. Close, but no cigar chat. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's dive into the tournament, shall we? Round number one. We have Contest versus the Underground. A Gen 4 versus Gen 3 fight. Contest, of course, mainly known for May coming in, absolutely smashing those contests. Dawn coming in, smashing those contests. And Generation 3, Generation 4, always something that I loved quite a lot, versus the Underground. The Underground area of the Sinnoh region that you could go and make your secret base in, that you could farm in. You could, well, you couldn't you could farm fossils in it, get items, etc, etc, plant your traps and all that kind of stuff. What is your favorite? Do you like contests more? Or do you like the Underground more? The time has come to vote. Alright! So we have have voted for the underground. Really? I'm gonna be honest, that kind of surprises me. I really didn't think the underground would immediately beat Contest. That's kind of, that's kind of blowing my mind. I thought Contest would easily win that. Oh well, next up we have riding Pokemon. That means they're doing things like walking around the Gen 7 region, Alola, on your Machokes, on your Machamps, sorry, it's actually Machamps, on your Tauroses or your Stoutlands, all of that, or rotation battles. Now, rotation battles in Generation 5 and 6 were a little bit insane. Uh, they were definitely scary, especially for someone who plays like hard mode ROM hacks. Which one is it gonna be? Number one for riding Pokemon, number two for rotations. All right, so riding Pokemon has just managed to beat rotation battles. I again, like shocking me. Really? I thought rotation battles were really cool, but apparently chat does not seem uh, to, to think the same. Riding Pokemon, it is progressing on to the next round. And the last of round one, the game corner versus following Pokemon. Now, technically, okay, okay, technically, yes, following Pokemon was in the DLC. I mean, it wasn't in the main game. So if you would like the game corner to return in all of its majesty and glory so you can gamble your hearts out and waste all of your money like maybe you do in real life if you're addicted to gambling, which if you are, please seek help. That's not very good. I am genuinely concerned about people who are addicted to gambling. You can lose everything. Please don't continue down that road if you're honest. But if you're doing it in a Pokemon game, then it's entirely fine. Oh, would you rather have Pikachu following behind you, nibbling at your heels? What's it gonna be? Is it the game corner or is it following Pokemon? Or do you want a gotcha game? Or do you want some kind of uh, little little pally kind of harvest moon scenario? Following Pokemon reign supreme in this one and we'll be moving on. So following Pokemon Pikachu nibbling at your heels actually beats out gambling, which I guess we should all be kind of happy about the fact that the community didn't go for gambling in this scenario, which is great. That's good. That's that's actually a subconscious W that we just picked up there. Fantastic. On to round two, the Versus Seeker versus the underground, the versus seeker, of course, as we know. In generation three, very, very popular way of grinding enabled you to fight trainers that you had already fought before and their super powered forms that they would all get stronger and you could grind things like money and experience that way while fighting people that you'd already fought. Or you could go for the underground again, which we have already explained. Which is it gonna be, ladies and gents? I must say, I am absolutely shocked. 71% of the votes went to the versus seeker. That just kind of blows my mind a little bit. I didn't think that people like the Versus Seeker that much. Why do you guys like the Versus Seeker that much? I, I don't get it. Anyway, next we have a Battle of the Titans. Mega Evolution needs no introduction. First introduced in Generation si You know, I just said it needs no introduction, so I'm not going to introduce it. You already know what this is. You literally scamper and cry for this on the Twitter timeline every single day, so I'm not going to introduce it. Versus Horde Battles. Introduced in Generation 6 that allowed to fight up to five Pokemon at the same time, which according to the Pokemon League rules is technically cheating. Is it gonna be Hordes or is it gonna be Megas? Let's find out how 
much Megas win by. Let's find out how much Megas win by. Yep, 73, 76% of the vote. No real surprise there. I, I'm not shocked by this. Mega Evolution moving on to the next round. Next up, we have the other type of weird gimmick that they introduced in Generation 7. Z moves. Big blasty moves with big blasty animations and cutscenes. Kind of cool. I mean, my favorite time I ever used this Z move was to knock Dad out of the WBE semifinals with a Z Thunder. Thought that was a really good time. Super epic. By the way, the Z Thunder came from a Snorlax. I actually used that. That was a crit right there. This thing is dead. Yes. Oh my God. Let's go. Z Thunder Snorlax. Oh my God. If I was streaming, I'd say get some hype in the chat, but uh, I'm not streaming. Oh, tank is gone. Yes, Skarmory is gone. I hated that thing last time. That thing, a Thunder Snorlax and it works. It was epic. So I have good memories with Z moves versus the Battle Frontier. Who is going to win? Jesus, this is the biggest win so far. The Battle Frontier has absolutely demolished Z moves. Not even close. Crazy. I didn't think Z moves were that bad, to be honest, but I, that, I guess that is what it is. Next round, Safari Zone and multiple regions. The Safari Zone, I recently participated in Safari Week, a week in which we go into the Safari Zone and shiny hunt for Pokemon, which is incredibly hard because the Pokemon have the ability to run away from you. You can also throw, like, spit and shit and rocks at them as well. It's really weird. But I unfortunately lost my shiny lick of tongue in this. Please stay in the ball. No, no, don't run, don't run, don't run. No! That kind of puts me in a little bit of a bad, sad mood when it comes to Safari Zone. Up against multiple regions. The only time we've really had multiple regions in a Pokemon game was in Gold and Silver, where we had Kanto and Johto in the same game. Now, really think about this. Think about how that was structured. Think about how that was created. Think about both the features. And what would you rather have make a return? Would you rather have a game with multiple regions like gold and silver? Or would you rather have the Safari Zone back? Go ahead, chat. And again, a vote that is not even close. Multiple regions have absolutely dominated the Safari Zone in the second round. And then we have Pokathlon versus Riding Pokemon. Wait a minute, I thought we, oh no, we already had Riding Pokemon in the previous round, that's right. The Pokathlon, one of my favorite features from Hot Gold and Soul Silver a bunch of super entertaining mini games that you can play a couple of times for fun while you take your Pokemon in and they have different stats and they can do a lot of different things. You can make your Pokemon play football. It's kind of insane. Or would you rather ride on your Pokemon? Do you want to explore the region on your Machamp, on your Tauros, on your Stoutland? Which one would you rather have, chat, and make your voices known? This is a democracy, chat. Make your voices heard. And just by the skin of their teeth. Oh my God, that was so close. Just by the skin of their teeth, Pokathlon is just Eba able to eke out a tiny, tiny victory there. That was way closer than I expected. All right, we have a big one here. Okay, full national decks versus easy and hard modes. Now, if you didn't know, Generation 5 actually had an easy and a hard mode, except you probably didn't know that because Game Freak are dumb, dumb, no thoughts, head empty brains. And they were like, actually, we'll put in difficulty modes, but we'll make you finish the game first to unlock it. And then you have to transfer it to a different console to be able to actually use it. No thoughts, head empty, Game Freak, but they did have a challenge mode and they did have an easy mode. Would you rather have those implemented hopefully a little bit better or would you rather have every single Pokemon back in the next game chat this is gonna be a difficult one let's see what happens this is a big one chat you have until 30 seconds to make your voices heard the difficulty modes have beat out the full national deck see I wonder I am quite curious if we did this poll about a year and a half ago, I wonder what the result would have been. I think we just don't care anymore because we realize that having a full national decks doesn't really matter all that much. But they have done it. The difficulty modes have moved on to the next round. Another tough fight coming up next. Triple battles versus following Pokemon. Triple battles, some of the most insane, scary battles that you can take on in a Nuzlocke. I remember playing a ROM hack of Neo Y where they had like five triple battles in a row and I shat my pants so many times that I, I just, I, I, I didn't even, I didn't know what to do with myself. I truly did not know what to do with myself. This is a very close one, ladies and gentlemen. And just on the 30 seconds, following Pokemon has beat out the feature of triple battles. Maybe someone has played too many Nuzlocke and had too many Pokemon die in Blaze Black and Vault White. 
potentially. Next up, we have inverse battles versus mythical events. Now, if you don't know what an inverse battle is, essentially it was a very, very underused feature, I believe, in Generation 6, I think was introduced, in which all typing super effectiveness was reversed. So, for example, water type moves were super effective against grass. Fire type moves were super effective against water. That's kind of how it worked. It was kind of a weird feature, but I think they could have done some cool stuff with it. And the mythical events. And if you don't remember, you're a little bit too zoomer. You're a little bit too young. There used to be events that they would do for Pokemon. For example, side quests that you could go in and take part of before you got gifted your mythical. For example, in the Generation 4 games, there was a cool hotel that you would go into. There was a whole cutscene where you'd get lulled into a nightmare and then you'd go and fight Darkrai in order to save a small child that had been locked inside of a nightmare. You'd go into the nightmare yourself and try and save him by catching the Darkrai. It was kind of cool. Inverse battles or mythical events. If you don't mind about just being gifted the mythical, then maybe you'll go for that one. Maybe you'll go for the inverse, but we'll see. What is it gonna be, chat? See, I think there's so much potential that you could do with mythical events. Like, you could have real, real, real side quests. Like, genuine things that like you go into different areas. Maybe, like, there's a special exclusive area just for an event that happens for you to get a mythical. There's so much that you could do with it. So much in terms of, like, potentially even, like, DLC in the future, like they did with Crown Tundra, etc, etc. You could do so much with stuff like that. There's really so much potential with that. I agree. Time for the next rounds. Versus Seeker versus Mega Evolution. I don't know if we have to do this poll really, but uh, let's just find out what happens. Go ahead, you vote, chat. And as expected, Mega Evolution absolutely demolishes the Versus Seeker. I, I'm honestly surprised that the Versus Seeker even won any of the rounds, but hey, I mean, it's your opinions, not mine. Next up, we have a, oh, we have a difficult one here. Okay. Battle Frontier or multiple regions? I am very curious to see how this goes, to be honest. I think both are like massively requested features. And honestly, I have no idea which way this is gonna go. Who made the seedings? The seedings were randomized, man. You can't blame me for that one, okay? It was it was evens, okay? It was evens. Anyway, it looks like, oh, it looks like multiple regions is just gonna edge out. Battle Frontier, yep, there we go. Multiple regions has done it. They have won and they are moving on to the next round. Oh, that's gonna be a spicy one right there. Oh, Cathalon versus easy and hard modes. Is it gonna be a little bit of exercise or do you want some challenge in your game? Go for it, chat. Oh, Cathalon or easy and hard modes. Which one would you rather have? Oh my God, the, oh, the poor Pocathlon. Oh God, they're not just killing the men. They're killing the Pocathlon women and children too. Even the younglings. It's a slaughter in there. An absolute slaughter. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm really not surprised to be honest. I kind of saw this coming. Uh, easy and hard modes have easily clutched that out and won. Next up, following Pokemon or mythical events. Now, chat, this is an important one. Would you rather have Pokemon walking behind you or would you rather have potentially some cool events? Let's find out. I am not here to sway you in any way whatsoever. Can I make them line up? Oh, I can't scroll down. Wait, wait, I can make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can make it line up. Oh, that's so good. I can make it line up. That's so sick. Oh, dude, I am so smart. I made it line up and everything. There we go. Ah, there you go. Dude, I'm so smart at this. Jesus Christ. Uh, anyway, yeah, some mythical events absolutely demolished that one. So that, <laughs> again, not really a surprise as we enter the semifinals. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just entered the semifinals with four participants left. Mega evolutions, multiple regions, difficulty modes, and mythical events. The most requested cup features to be brought back into the franchise. Which one is going to win? This is the end, ladies and gents. We are getting close to the end here. Do you prefer to have multiple regions or mega evolutions? Let's find out which one is it gonna be. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Which one's gonna win? You have 30 seconds. Oh God, it's gonna be so close. I'm gonna stop it on exactly 30 seconds. Chat, get your votes in now. Get your votes in now. Oh my God, it's so close. Oh my God, it's, oh, I'm losing. I, I almost wish that I could vote. I can't, oh my God, it's 50-50. Okay, which one's gonna win? It's, stop. Oh, it is just multiple regions. Jesus Christ. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have it. Egg Evolution has just been clapped by multiple regions. Good gods. By a very, very, very small difference, it advances to the finale. But which will it be joined by? Will it be fighting? Easy and hard modes, difficulty modes, 
Stop the steal. Or mythical events. Which one would you rather have? Card modes, difficulty modes in Pokemon, or mythical events? Which one would you rather have, ladies and gents? It is down to you. Make your choice. You get 30 seconds. Again, it is a very... Oh my god, it's so close. Oh my god, it's 50-50 again. Jesus, you know how to put the fear of God into me right now. 30 seconds. It's gonna stop. Get your vote in, get your vote in, get your vote in. Bam! 30 seconds! Oh my god. The finale will be multiple regions versus difficulty modes. Would you rather have difficulty modes? Would you rather have multiple regions? If you could only bring back one cut feature to be implemented, let's say rather well. We'll say that the feature is brought back and it's implemented well. It's time for the final round. Multiple regions or difficulty modes. Vote now! What's it gonna be? I want every single one of you to vote. Get your vote in right now, one or two. It's very close, it is almost 50-50 and you get 30 seconds to decide. Which one is it gonna be? 20, you have 10 seconds left. Will it be another multiple region scenario? Or will it be difficulty modes in the main games? It looks like, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be, it is multiple regions. Winning out at the end here. The competition was fierce. The battles were violent. But in the end, multiple regions has been crowned the victor of the Hot Pokemon Features Tournament. Congratulations to all the participants. We salute you to those that we lost along the way. Difficulty modes, mythical events, mega evolution, following Pokemon, the Pokathlon, the national decks, triple battles and inverse battles, etc., etc. I have good news for you. I have some very good news. My dad works for Nintendo and he can go ahead and get on the blower to Game Freak and say, listen chaps, we've got some brand new information. Looks like the boys want multiple regions back. And he'll say, right, no worries, mate. We'll get that in the next one. That's right, guys. You have just unlocked multiple regions in the next Pokemon game. Congratulations, everyone. My dad works at Nintendo, and it will be in the next one. That's right. Well done, everyone. You've done it. I, I wanted to keep it a nice secret as a surprise, but you've done it, boys. But anyway, that is the end. Hold on, I need music for this. That is the end of the feature tournament battle royale. I hope you guys did enjoy it. We do things like this on Twitch.tv slash Pyros every day. If you do like it, go ahead and follow us. You can be part of the chat down there. It's probably complaining or something or talking shit or something like that. Saying my dad doesn't work in Nintendo. Shut up. He does. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Also, subscribe to my second channel that's linked in the description where I post stuff that you probably haven't seen. It's really good stuff and you'll definitely like it. I promise. So your money back. That's right. Or your money back. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye. Thank you so much to our Twitch subs and YouTube members of the day. Remember, if you are a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber, that both gives you access to the sub Discord. And I appreciate you supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys.